Hey friends, it's Emily. Welcome back. Today we're going to do something a little different. Uh, I'm back in my childhood home and it's the first time I'm looking at my bookshelves from more than 20 years ago. Just the collection of, you know, children's books, teenager books, adolescent years that I've been, you know, been away from for at least 10 years and haven't even looked at in almost 20. So I'm excited to see and reminisce on some of the things I used to read when I was young, when I was little, and I hope it, you know, unlocks some memories for me and for you as well. So let's get right into it. So before I dive right into my childhood bookshelf, in my room I have seven Harry Potter books out of order. <laughs> the fifth one's on the bottom, but these are very, very old school. I don't know if they're first edition or not, they're, but they're pretty early on and they were well loved. I, that Deathly Hallows, the orange one. Oh my god, I've read that so many times and it's just so, so, so good. What's your favorite Harry Potter book? So all of my childhood books are in the basement, but does anybody have just a bunch of Disney VHSs that we don't have space for anymore? Let me know. Oh my god, some of these are just so classic and relatable. I used to watch these so much. So this is where all the childhood and teenage books went. I haven't looked at these in at least 10 to 15 years. So, wow. Cue the nostalgia. So let's dive right in. So pardon the lighting, it's a little dark down here and there's not a lot of natural light coming down in the basement, but we always had some sort of Encyclopedia, I guess it's a children's one. Oh my God, the big book of knowledge. Oh my gosh, if you recognize or have memories unlocked from any of these books, please let me know. I guess this is a picture dictionary. Okay. Great, I think that was from college, oops. Oh my God, the American Girl Doll books. I loved Kit. Uh, Lord of the Rings, I've actually never read these. My dad used to love these uh, movies and books, and I've seen the movies in bits and pieces, and I know I would be obsessed with it, but I've never watched them consecutively. But that's definitely on my to-do list. Little Women. Love both movies of this. Heidi, the Shirley Temple movie. Oh, this is so cute. This looks like it's really old. Come on. 1939, OMG. Super cute. Charlie Chocolate Factory, I remember this. With the wild illustrations. Wuthering Heights, this was from high school. Oh God, oh God, yes. No, I mean, I love and appreciate it for what it is now, but this was definitely, like definitely bought this because it was Bella Edwards' favorite book. Like the like the, the artwork kind of matches the Twilight books. I only read the first Twilight book. Oh my gosh, the click, middle school. I used to check these out of the library. I don't even know what the order of these are, but Gosh, I can't remember if these were like super problematic or not, but probably had something to do with my issues now. A little JK, not really. Warriors, I think these were not mine. These may have been my sisters. Oh, I didn't know they were published by Avon, that's interesting. Has anybody ever read these, the Warriors? It looks like they're, are they kind of like Animorphs? I remember the Animorph series. Interesting, these seem very cat heavy. Oh my gosh. I did not read these. These must have been my sisters. The Thief Lord. This cover looks familiar. This might have been elementary school. Oh gosh. More cats. Oh. The key. This is super vague too. This seems like something I would have read in middle school. Oh my gosh. Who remembers this book? I barely remember it, but I remember having to, this was like the sixth grade book or something. Oh my gosh. 
memories are being unlocked at this very moment in time. Okay, these are just like dictionaries. Dol yes, my sister and I, we really did like dolphins. Okay, Charlotte's Web, a classic. Ginger Pie, we had a dog named Ginger, so I'm sure this had something to do with why we had this book. I guess this is the OG click? Yep, this is the first one. Wind in the Willows. Oh my god, this is like Mr. Toad. I love Mr. Toad. Doodle book. We had a cocktail growing up. I used to love, you know, Guinness World Book of Records, fun fact book, so this checks. And of course, everybody had this book in 0809. Middle school for me. This was a book about the founder of the Girl Scouts, I think. Becca, that was like a middle school or high school pick that just made it down here. Okay, first shelf down. Next one, some old Mad Lips books. Oh my gosh, a One Direction poster. I mean, magazine. Oof. <laughs> Tiger Beat. Look at these National Ancient Archives right here. <laughs> okay, these are some of my faves. I loved Good Night Moon. Good Night Moon is such a classic. Hungry Caterpillar as well. I believe Eric Carl died within the last year or two. I loved uh, that, those illustrations. The Runaway Bunny. Oh my gosh. Oh, these are so cute. I'm sorry, my phone is an iPhone 8, so please, please have mercy upon me. Looks like we had two of these. some more action happening the mitten oh my gosh jan brat that name brings back some memories oh a ukrainian folktale it's so lovely oh my gosh this one sparks memories i love the feeling of these they're like a harder texture so they really have a nice weight to them and they click, you know, when you flip the pages. Okay, we have some more. Madeline, I love Madeline. American Girl Doll. Kristen, Kirsten, Kirsten, Samantha. Kirsten, Samantha. And then, man, these haven't been touched in a while. These were so good. Oh my God, there's like cobwebs, jeez. Okay. Anyone remember these little golden books? Okay, we're gonna do, we helped him. Or some of these must be, I wanna say some of these might have been my mother's. Daddy's in the Christmas tree, the Velveteen Rabbit. I was in the Velveteen Rabbit play growing up. Oh, the blue oh my goodness, so cute. These are, these are old. Oh my God, Donald, I love Donald Duck. The fuzzy duckling, so, so cute. That's an old Chick-fil-A ad. I, we didn't have any Chick-fil-A's near me growing up. Maybe the closest one was like 30 minutes away, so I didn't have it till I had went to college. Okay. When Bunny grows up. Next stack. Oh my gosh. Jesus lived. Bugs Bunny in the health hut. Oh my gosh. Um, these are getting into interesting territory. Sweet. Well intended, I believe, though. Little Red Caboose. Jungle Book. Mother Goose. Tell me that it's the doctor. All right, this one for me. Beauty and the Beast. Loved it, Beauty and the Beast. Pocahontas. DuckTales. Aladdin. Snow White. More Snow White. Let's see. 101 Dalmatians. Aladdin again. Cracker. Sylvester and Tweety, Winnie the Pooh, 
I love Anastasia's like my favorite Little Mermaid, Sorcerer's Apprentice, Lion King, my first book of planets. I wonder if Pluto is included in this. If you remember this book, you are eligible for social security. I'm just kidding. I'm being dramatic, but man, I was whipping this book out like the, the summer before I went to middle school thinking like this would solve all my problems. Oh my gosh, crazy. I mean, some useful things in here, but damn, those like graphic pictures in there. I was like, ooh, okay. These, I'm not gonna pull these all the way out, but these books, these classic, oh, Babar, I love Babar. Lion King, Little Mermaid, Bambi, Lion King. I love these because they had such great illustration, animation. Aristocats, Being the Beast, Hunchback. Okay, moving on to the next shelf. I used to love reading any books about dog breeds, so Golden Retriever one, Puppies, Dictionary. Pocahontas, Christ I love Mickey's Christmas Carol. Still gives me the feels. Cinderella, Hercules, Winnie the Pooh, Aladdin, Pinocchio, Wonder. I love Alice in Wonderland so much. One of my faves. Charlotte's Web, All About Madeline, Stuart Little, Beatrix Potter, Beatrix Potter, Velveteen Rabbit, Three Pigs, Corduroy, oh my god, Corduroy, Winnie the Pooh. I barely remember some of these. Pooh, these are all Pooh. Oh my God, I love these. The Princess Collection, Storybook Collection. Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. The classics too, if you give a mouse a cookie, if you give a pick a pancake, if you give a moose a muffin. Oh, I love this. If you take a mouse to school. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff in here. Nutcracker, these are like Christmas stuff. Christmas treasury, Nutcracker, Rudolph. Christmas in the country, Night Before Christmas. Joy to the world, Toot and Pot of the Grinch. Corduroy's Christmas. Hans Christian Andersen. I remember this, the snowman, the nutcracker, Robert Louis Stevenson, this is an old book, it's like falling apart, probably got it at an antique show, wow, okay, Corduroy, Winnie the Pooh, Biscuit, Biscuit, Good Luck Pony, Thumper, <gasps> oh. these might have been some of my mom's books. We got some Dr. Seuss, Green Eggs and Ham, Are You My Mother, Cat in the Hat, Boxcar Children. My sister liked these. I didn't really read them. Little Bear. Haunted House, Beauty and the Beast. Frog and Toad, classic. Still providing memes to this day. Oh my god, I love Biscuit. Kitten. Oh, I love this, this um, artistry too. Panda Bear, Panda Bear, what do you see? A little old man. Does a kangaroo have a mother too? Tea Party Book. This was a great film, a work of cinema perfection. I wanted to be her, I wanted her dressed. Oh, so good. Moving on. I never read these, but we had so many of these Nancy Drew kind of books. 
Nancy Drew Mysteries. If you recognize any of these, let me know. They're a little worse for wear, but The Secret of the Old Clock. Mystery of the Glowing Eye. These titles are scary. The Double Jinx Mysteries. Secret of the Lone Tree Cottage. The Bungalow Mystery. The Hidden Staircase. I know some of these are very classic, but I've just never read them. Maybe I should add that to the list. So going through all of those books definitely brought back some deeply locked memories from my past. That American Girl doll guy to being a girl or whatever the title was like ugh. but that book I think many people growing up in the early 2000s that book made a made a deep impact on us <laughs> but yeah uh, it just going through that was really fun I'm glad I did it this was kind of a spontaneous thing I decided to do since I'm home visiting and it, I hope you really enjoyed it if you ever do something like this, let me know. I would love to see if we all read the same kind of books growing up. Again, if you enjoyed this, feel free to give it a like, a uh, thumbs up. And if you feel like sticking along, please subscribe. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. This was so fun and see you next time.